this is making buns. Well, in here I've got water, yeast, marge, butter, sugar, and a few other bits and pieces. And into that we add water, literally into the water, into the bowl, and then literally pop it, the machine on for 10 minutes and just make it slowly mix. And that's basically what the dough is. This machine is practically identical to your home baking machine. It has the same type of spiral on it as your little paddle. It does the same, re same job, but obviously this machine doesn't bake it for you as well. You literally have to take out the machine. And there you go, that's, we'll, we'll come back to this when it's mixed. Well, the dough is ready now, and we'll just get them out of the machine. Best to clean the machine whilst it's wet. Well, it's still wet because once it dries, it's very difficult to clean out. But for this purposes, I'm moving on. So you can see what I'm doing. Next stage is to weigh off my buns. few minutes we'll come back. Well this is the next stage. Literally we're going to make the priority as you can see. Plenty of flour under the dough. This is what they mean by handmade these days. It's not machined. It's using straightforward rolling pin. And that little bit of skill. Right, there you go. Mark that two parts now. It's quality lard. There's no smell to this. And like if you've got it straight from a, a pig. When you cook your pork, you smell pork, but with this, there is no pork smell. Literally, all that lovely, lovely lard. There you go. Granny would just love this now, as you can see. There you go. 
covered everything with lard. That's it. Next stage, just an add to the amusement, fruit. Nothing but it. Look at that, lovely. Plenty of fruit on those. Once again, and to top it off, sugar. Just can't beat it, the combination of that lovely lard and sugar. There we go, pop that on that over. Push this one over like this. Literally speaking. Again, more sugar. Oh, look at it. You can't beat it, can you? Oh. Cover this over this way, like this. As you see, I've probably been doing this so long, these over the years, it gets a habit. This is one of my first jobs in the bakery when I was 16. Learn how to make the lardy. And I used to eat them as much. I could probably eat one a day with no trouble at all. There you go. Literally fold that one over here. That one over here. Not a lot to this, really. Right, literally next job. Get your old tray out. Always better to get one that's got some glue in the bottom. It always adds because that will come through and it will stick to the bottom of the lardy. So it gives all that nice, gluey, sticky, treacly, treat the treaty bit. Some people prefer just the edge parts. Press that out into the tray. Rub it up like this. That's it. That's your lardy. Now, just. I know some people just say, well, let's have it as it is. Well, mark it up. And literally speaking, whilst it's like this, you just cut them up. Ready. Any part, I've only partly cut them. But as you cut through, you're probably cutting through, down into this, into the paper, so all that nice stuff comes to the bottom. And there we go, and we'll come back to it when it's ready and out the oven. Or thereabouts. Well, all the buns are ready. So you can see what's going on. Yeah. So top of them, we'll have to finish that neat nicely baking off quick. And now here's a lardy. This is a lardy we made earlier. All ready. Now the temperature for this one, we only want about 400 old fashioned Celsius. And that will take around 30 minutes to bake. And I'll see you in a bit. Well, we're back and the lardies are ready. I made a mistake earlier. I baked them at 400 Fahrenheit, not Celsius, as someone pointed out to me. Chubby's working in this old fashioned, old fashioned ways. It's one of those things you tend to forget. Modern versus old. 
Now they're out, you literally wash them with uh, treacle. This is watered down treacle. And that's just to make them nice and taut, nice and sticky on the top. But actually the bit you see mostly is that actually the bottom. And if you look down the side there, you can see that it's very, 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 very hot. It's bubbling away to itself. You probably can hear that. Yeah. So literally now, I leave it there for 30 minutes to rest, to go cool enough. And we'll come back and we'll turn it out and cut it up. See you in a bit. Now the bit you've been waiting for. The lard is now cooled it a little bit, not as long as I normally like to leave it, but there we go, look at that. Oh, look at that, that is what you call the business. Look, get a close up on that, yes. Look at that nice little shine. That's so beautiful, absolutely stunning. And now it's just a matter of actually just chopping them up. So we'll just nicely give them a little bit of a cut up ready. It's in the position. Just to literally, here we go. They're still hot. There you go, and then this way and And to think these are the calorie count on these are the same as a baby's happy meal. So when you think about it, you might as well give your kids a lardy. Look at that, scrumptious. There you go, a lardy.